People don't realize that Einstein's equations allow for time travel. Now, Isaac Newton thought that time was like an arrow. Once you fired it, it never deviated. One second on Earth was one second on Mars was one second on Jupiter. Einstein comes along and says, not so fast. Time is a river, this old man river, that meanders and slows downs and speeds up on its way to the universe. So that one second on Earth is not one second on Mars, is not one second on Jupiter. The new wrinkle in all this is we now believe that the river of time may have whirlpools, may fork into two separate rivers, in which case time travel may be possible. The simplest way to build a time machine is to drill a hole in space, concentrate enough energy at a single point so that a gateway opens up to a distant point, perhaps in another universe. Now, in principle, this is a solution of Einstein's equations. Stephen Hawking once said that time travel is not possible because where are the tourists from the future? And Stephen Hawking said there ought to be a law of physics preventing time travel. He was wrong. Stephen Hawking has now admitted that time travel is possible, though very expensive, very impractical for us Earthlings.